Hello, guy. I'd like, uh, I'd like level twenty, please, if you if you don't mind. What, what's that? Ten, ten, ten bookshelves. All right. So two plus eight gives us ten. That'll do us uh, level twenty, huh? Okay. Thank you very much. Oh, there it is. Very good. Well, thank you, thank you, kind sir. And all right, that's a nice setup you got there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go try to, I'm gonna go try to to make one of my own. Okay, you, you wait there. Let's let's go see how he did this. Let's see. So, have a room about three blocks this way, five this way, three tall, and maybe a little bit in the floor. And uh, so we're gonna place levers over here. And there were some lamps like this. I think those were important. Pistons, pistons were like this, so so it went like this. Because if we flip the switch like this and update this piston, it turns on. So we use the lamp like this oop, to uh, cause the update. When the lamp turns on, it updates the piston. So that's good. And the enchantment table goes right like this. Yeah, that's right. Let's see, we'll put the signs like this. Not as fancy as the other ones, but that's all right. Each of these is a number of bookshelves that are activated. Um, okay, let's take this out for now. So these are the rest of the pistons that block the bookshelves. And let's see. So this one and this one, those both work just from that. So let's work on this guy here. Like so. So this piston will come forward, power that block there from the torch beneath, and hit that dot. Like that. Okay, this other side. Just gonna take the signal from a repeater, like so. We're going to route it down here into that block so it hits that piston. And uh, there's going to end up being a bookshelf here so that the power can flow down. So test that out. It does both of those. All right. So that's basically it. That's Now we just got to put the bookshelves in. So we're going to have one here. And that's one. Let's see that sign says one. So that's one bookshelf which gets blocked from this. Even though it doesn't look like there's still an air block up here. But it still blocks it from the enchantment table. Um, in the back here it says eight. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which those two pistons block all of those. Uh, two, it's this front guy right here. So one, two, simple. And four, corner guy, one, two, three, four. So that'll do it. And uh, one note is um, there's a dot there. If you tried to put a block there to fill in the area, fill in the, the airspace, then when you do this, both of those pistons will come up. We don't want that. So either leave it as an air block or put oops, put some uh, transparent block like that, like a stair or glass or something. And then only that will happen. So that's good. Um, and all that's left is put the enchantment table in, like so. And it looks like it works. Ah, take that, you. So we can do uh, 30 when all the levers are up. When all the levers are down, then all the bookshelves are blocked. Um, and you get just level one to randomness. Um, and actually, you still see the notes or um, letters coming into the thing. That's just a visual effect. They're not actually activated. The, these bookshelves don't actually transfer their knowledge into the enchantment table or whatever. Um, so let's see if we do... That's 30. It's level 30 again. If we take out... Uh, two bookshelves, that takes us down to 26. That's a good level for feather falling on diamond and iron boots. Um, <clears throat> if you want, let's see, this will be 20. So it's just a binary system and you can select any uh, range from zero to 15 bookshelves with this. And uh, I want to thank uh, Wasploke from the Minecraft server that we play on for, he had a little tutorial on binary, uh, on a binary setup like this. And that, you know, gave me the little inspiration to, to build this one. So um, you can check out his video in the description below. And uh, also, if you want to download this map to uh, get a refresher on how it's made. And there you go. Um, so, good. Um, 
I like it. I'm going to use it. And I uh, hope you do too. Bye.